Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor behind Past Life Pro. For this video, I have actually been meaning to show you this for some time now, probably for a little more than a month or so. In this tutorial, I want to teach you a non-destructive method to color grade in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. My friends, do enjoy this one. First, have the SUS shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Use Notepad++, open it up. First things first, we need to unlock our color grading code. So scroll way down to line 2126, or for the original SUS, line 918. Remove the two slashes next to color grading. As you can see, this is currently what is left on the shader. We'll be able to adjust this. Alright, scroll up to line 504 to 515. These will very likely be different line numbers if your SUS is unmodified, so I'd recommend simply searching a piece of relevant code to get to where I'm at. The lines that have those blue bullets next to them are the ones we will be covering. Now, as for the top section of code, which are lines 504 to 509, these are our warm values. As for what colors they are able to bring to the party, it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint them. So, like any bit of color grading, it's about using your instincts until you get something that feels right, even if you don't quite know the colors you're manipulating. Now, as for the second section of code, these ones use the RGB format. So first one's your red, second your green, and third your blue. To enable these, simply remove the two slashes on each. And yes, that also means if you don't want a specific color to be in use, whether it's in the warm section or the cool, you can simply add the slashes to disable it. As to why these RGB values are in a cool section, I wouldn't exactly know. But anyways, for color grading in the SUS, lines 513 to 515 will be your main tool set. The above lines are best used if you want some variation in the visuals, though that's up to you. Oh and yes, these grading changes do bleed into nights, as well as rainy times. In most cases, they may not look that great, in other cases not so bad, but the point is, I'd use these adjustments specifically during the day. For people that like to film with the SUS, this should be useful to you. So, for those who've seen a couple of my tutorials, you know what's going to happen next. My friends, who's ready for some color grading presets? Of course, don't forget to save when you finished. Alright, my friends, if you have any questions, then do leave them in the comment section down below. If this Zeus tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.